Now, uh, how'd you get into acting? How did that whole the whole uh, process start? Um, always, it, it starts with uh, beautiful women, as all good stories do. Ah. Uh, I was in uh, high school, and um, had no interest in being an actor. I was hanging out with a mate of mine from high school. We were just hanging out and mm -hmm. uh, outside on the steps. And this beautiful girl came out and said, they need more people to audition for the school play. We need more boys to audition for the school play. <laughs> so I turned to my friend and I said, if she's auditioning, I'm auditioning. <laughs> so we went in, we auditioned, and we got parts because basically we were the only boys that auditioned. And, um, and, I, and then I, I, what I, I think it must have been about a week into rehearsals. Mm -hmm. And I was walking uh, with that same friend and I turned to him and I said, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And uh, I often remember that when I'm now, that was almost 40 years ago, and I'm still doing it, so I'm really very, very grateful that I am still doing it for the rest of my life, or at least up to this point in my life. That's from amazing. that moment, yeah. That's amazing. And it, we're, there's only a few people I think that are, if you, you're, if you have a passion for whatever it is and you're actually doing that for a living, you're incredibly blessed. So. It's, that's, no, that's I'm very, very, very lucky and uh, very, very grateful to whatever higher power one might believe in for being able to still do it up gotcha. to today. Now, is there, uh, again, with your career as vast, and you, you mentioned there's quite an assortment of characters you played, uh, is there any particular type of role or character that you've been wanting to pursue but haven't had the opportunity yet? Well, I want to be James Bond, but I think my chances of that are slim and oh. getting slimmer by the day. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> I was a big James Bond fan when I was a kid. Looking forward to watching the new one mm -hmm. um, with my 19-year-old. But if he doesn't, if I can get his attention now, it's like, you know. Nice. Um, but I, is there a, uh, not really. I mean, I'm, I'm you know, I, I love, uh, I used to joke, I want to be uh, the romantic lead in a rom-com, but uh, That'd that's be not perfect. gonna happen either. <laughs> No, I, I'm lucky. I, you know, there's often there's so many different. I, there's such variation in what I get to do, and what different roles I got to play. Mm -hmm. There's very little that I haven't done, or you know, that if I want to do, it's highly unlikely it'll ever happen. So, gotcha. Like okay. James Bond. So, who's your favorite James Bond? Uh, oh, good question. I mean, Sean Connery was always like I loved him. Um, mm -hmm. Roger Moore was the first one I saw, Live and Let Die, when I saw my dad when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So even though he's way too kind of comedy and campy, and, I and, think so. and now as an adult looking back, he was the one that I knew. And then I love Daniel Craig. I think he's, I mean, if I had to really pick one, I'd say Daniel Craig. It's yeah. really, really just a bit like Christian Bale did for Batman, which I, I was in the... Um, Batman Begins, mm -hmm. and that was, nobody knew when we did Batman Begins that uh, it would be as successful. I mean, even um, uh, <laughs> the director, Christopher, I was like, um, it took me a second to remember his name, I, um, <laughs> only because of jet lag, I flew from London. Um, but he, um, you know, you, you know, he was amazingly calm as well, which was actually pretty amazing as a director. But, mm -hmm. you know, what that did really was just so revamp superhero films in general. I mean, before Batman Begins, they were in that kind of campy, you know, mm -hmm. sort of, this is a British word, campy, but, you know, very like, um, mm -hmm. just a bit not real, not based in a kind of real world, right. sort of the earlier Batman, uh, Tim Burton's. Or, you know, they just never seem to, and then after Batman, of course, we have all these new Marvels and all these films where there's just a more realness to them. Absolutely. And I think Batman Begins, you know, I really believe personally that that's where it all began. Yeah, um, absolutely. And Christian really very much is a big part of why that happened, because he's such a great actor. Mm -hmm. And um, I felt like Daniel Craig has done that, you know, in many ways with Bond. With Bond? Just re-brought it back, back to some grit, you know, that, that it needs. Uh, so I've really enjoyed his films. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the new James Bond, I mean, they're saying that uh, Edris Silva or Henry Cavill would be the next one. I'm, I think uh, Henry Cavill would be a good choice. But my favorite is Timothy Dalton. Oh, that's an interesting one. Yeah. yeah I, in a way, he was just a bit before his time. Mm -hmm. I was you know, just chatting about Bond for like, you know, I was <laughs> my, um, I thought, I think, 
his kind of take is a bit like with Daniel Craig. It was to, to try to make it gritty. And real. I, I actually really like them too. Mm -hmm. But it was just too early. You know, people weren't ready for that yet. I agree. You know, and it didn't well. Yeah, you know, I agree. That's a, good, that's a good choice. Yeah, he's always been one of my favorite actors, even going back to Flash Gordon. He's just got a presence on the screen, so he's amazing.